Good day everyone. We are now in quarter 1, week number 7 of Mathematics 5. I'm your teacher, Sir Fronda. Our objective for today, at the end of the lesson, you will learn on how to solve routine and non-routine problem involving multiplication with or without addition or subtraction of fraction and rule number using appropriate problem solving strategies and tools so to start our lesson let's have a game first multiply me you're going to multiply the given number now you have 10 seconds to answer you're, let's have sample number one two multiplied by one third you have 10 seconds to answer your timer starts now Okay, time is up. Let's reveal the answer. So, 2 multiplied by 1. The answer is 2. Then, uh, 2 has no denominator. So, the denominator of 2 is 1. 1 times 3 is 3. So, the answer is 2 third. Let's example number 2. 5 multiplied by 1, 8. You have 10 seconds to answer. Timer starts now. Okay, time is up. So, let's rebuild the answer. 5 multiplied by 1. The answer is 5. So, the answer is 5, 8. Okay, let's example number 3. 4 multiplied by 2 third. Whole number by a fraction. You have seconds to answer. Time starts now. Okay, time is up. The correct answer is 8 third. Or simplify your answer. The correct answer is 2 and 2 third. Example number 4. Fraction by a fraction. 1 third multiplied by 1 eighth. You have 10 seconds to answer. Timer starts now. Time's up. So, let's rebuild the answer. 1 multiplied by 1, the answer is 1. 3 multiplied by 8, the answer is 24. So, the correct answer is 124. Sample number 5. 2 thirds multiplied by 1 fifth. You have 10 seconds to answer. Timer starts now. Okay, let's reveal the answer. 2 multiplied by 1, the answer is 2. 3 multiplied by 5, the answer is 15. So, the answer is 2, 15. So, let's proceed in problem solving. So, problem number 1 in Karinderia. So, Dina have a Karinderia. Her daily budget is 2,500. She allot 2 pif of the money for purchase of meat and one fifth of the money for vegetables and the rest for fish and other ingredients how much is allotted for buying vegetables and fish and other ingredients so this problem is involving a non-routine word problem so Let's analyze what would be the two uh, word problem. So, two category of problem. We have routine and non-routine word problem. So, routine word problem, it involves using at least one of the four arithmetic operation ratio to solve problems that are practical in nature and also involves series of steps. So, here is the example of a problem solving non-routine. Four steps of well, yes. So we have understand, plan, solve, and look back. 
in understanding, we're going to know what is us and what are the given facts. In planning, we're going to determine the operation to be used and write the number sentence. And then solving, we're going to solve the number sentence and we're going to write the complete solution. And then we're going to look back and write the answer and check and interpret the answer. So here are the steps. And while non-routine word problem, it is any complex problem that requires some degree of creativity or originality to solve. Here are the strategies in solving non-routine word problem. Diagram pattern, listing table method, guess and test, uh, drawing and making a diagram. So, let's go back to our problem. So, understand and analyze the problem. Okay, so what is us in the problem? Very good. So, the amount allotted for buying vegetables, fish, and other ingredients should be the what is us. And what would be the given facts? So, the given facts are very good also. So, she allotted two fifth of the money for purchase of meat and one fifth of the money for vegetables and the rest for fish and other ingredients. Now, let's going to plan the pl problem. So, what would be the operation to be used? Very good. We're going to use multiplication and addition. The number sentence is 2,500 multiplied by 1 fifth plus 2 fifth. Okay. Now, solution. So, let's illustrate the problem. So, we have a 2,500. She allotted 2 pip of the money for the purchase of meat. So, 2 pip for the meat and 1 pip of the money for vegetable. 2 pip is 2 part and a whole part. Part 2 and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This, is, this would be a 2 pip and then 1 pip, 1 part of the whole part. And vegetable and the rest for fish and other ingredients. So this would be for fish and other ingredients. Now, how much is allotted for vegetable and fish and other ingredients? So this would be the three parts. We have one, two, three. So we have this would be a total of 2,500. So two people for the meat and this would be for vegetable, fish, and other ingredients. So, let's divide and multiply first. So, 2,500 multiplied by 3 fifth because we have 3 parts for vegetable, fish, and other ingredients. So, multiply. So, first, make the whole number as a fraction, then multiplied by 3 fifth. Uh, numerator, multiplied by numerator. So, 2,500 multiplied by 3, the answer is 7,500. 1 multiplied by 5, the answer is 5. And then simplify the answer, 7,500 divided by 5 is 1,500. So, we have 1,500 for vegetable, fish, and other ingredients. So, final answer, 1,500 allotted for vegetable, fish, and other ingredients. So, we conclude that we have three parts, so we have 500, 500, and 500 for these three parts. So, the total of these three parts is 1,500. We also conclude that we have 500, 500. So, the amounted value for meat is 1,000 pesos. And the amounted value for vegetable, fish, and other ingredients is 1,500. So, if total of 500, 500, 500, 500, the amounted value is 2,500.
Very good, grade 5 pupils. Now, let's proceed in problem number 2. 5 8 of the entire grade 5 batch for this school year are girls. If there are 480 grade 5 students, how many are girls? So, let's have an understand what is us in the problem. What is us? And what are the given? We are going to plan what operation to be used. What is the correct number sentence? Solve, solution, and find the answer. And look back. We're going to check your answer if correct and write the correct label. So, let's proceed. Understand what is us in the problem. Very good. The total number of girls of entire grade 5 batch for school for this school year. Next, number 2. What are the given? The given are 5 each of the entire grade 5 is girl and 480 grade 5 students. Next, what would be the... Okay, so what would be the plan? This would be a plan. What would be the operation to be used? Okay, multiplication. And... What is the correct number sentence? The correct number sentence is 480 multiplied by 5H is equal to N. And then, so, so make the whole number as a fraction multiplied by 5H. So the correct answer, okay, using cancellation method. So cancel out the common factor between 480 and 8 is 8. How many 8's in 480? We have 60. And how many 8 in 8 is 1? 60 times 5 is 300. And 1 times 1 is 1. Just simplify your answer. Therefore, there were 300 girls in the entire grade 5 batch for this school year. So, reminder for this lesson, you're going to answer what's more on your module or on your uh, worksheet so letter B and uh, try this letter B so that's all for today uh, thank you and God bless